chapter 12. That's two criminals down. Good job, partner. Now we got a redeem no, before he robs the entire city. That tracer of us will be able to find. Houdino can easily blend in with a crowd, especially if we're in a rare coat. Indeed. Mm. Let's see if the suit database has any info on it. Houdino was a master escape artist. He began his career by performing during feats of escape on stage, breaking chains, was getting out of handcuffs, escaping sturdy jackets, that sort of thing. But what he couldn't escape were low ticket sales, so he turned a life of crime, mostly bank robbing. He won't pass up a steal, and can't pass up a deal. There is no bot that can stop. But no one's of that can hold it. Houdino likes to break in, break out, and break dance. Well, Mango, looks like the bus Houdino will have to bust a move. And so, you gotta push it to pop it, rock it to lock it, break it to make it believe in the beat. Push it to pop it, rock it to lock it, break it to make it believe in the beat. Push it to pop it, rock it to lock it, break it to make it believe in the beat. Who wants to show us their moves? Anyone? Huh. I guess those hot fresh news inspector barked. I just weren't enough to care who Dino's attention. Well, he's made some money. What? Our money's finished. Who Dino must have taken it that money right thing? Ah. I was sure he wouldn't be able to resist a dance off. But it looks like the only thing Dino can't resist is money. Even if it's small change. The only things left here are lint and mismatched buttons. With that invention, Robin, with a piece of cake. Hold up. The thing with Steve only works on money, which means Udino can't just steal anything else, right? So what's the money for? He hasn't been caught spending it on anything. Maybe he's saving it for a rainy day? He's got that rain good after all. Yeah. But with all that money, he could buy anything he wants. So he to steal the money back again. That's a good point. Udino's not just shifty, he's also thrifty. We have to wear him out something when he can't buy. Love? No. Something that can't be sucked through walls. Oh, I see where you're going with this. To catch this tracer traps, we're gonna present a tracer trap. Chapter 13. And so. I may have more money than I can ever spend, but I'm not gonna pass up something that's free. Eventually. Thank you. Come again. Enjoy your peanut butter, pickle, bacon, pastry bun. I would have thought so many people held on to their receipts. This one is seven years old. Well, that coupon is costing us a fortune. Well, at this rate, our week will be out of business by tomorrow. Mango, I think you mean we'll put Gustavo's bakery out of business. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Shh, that may be Udino. Is that him? I can't tell if it's hot off. I like my free period of period period place. Wow, so polite. One cake, sad one cake, that's your special. Happy birthday, signing this tour. And cash, especially for. A crap! <laughs> Tracer trapped. You won't be stealing money of this anymore. How do you even know about this thing? Do you know? I did it when I saw it on the news. All of a sudden, my inspector outside. I knew that place. These victims, they're always so. I did that for use for you at the science factory. And oddly enough, this one came with an instruction. It's the washer safe. And the roots of the cake? Everyone likes cake. Easy way in. Though I do like to make an explosive exit. Well, your exiting days are over. Huh, you lizard's day 
Cage can hold a great Udino? That thing starts to just on top! That's a wrap. How are we gonna get him out of the store? Probably the same way the big oven was taken out. Medium yeah, oven. Wait! We never found a hook! Now, Chef Lou's mustache, you are why? That's the reason we're here in the first place. Gustavo, I get this. Please tell me I can stop by baking your crazy pastries. I didn't know for that in the sewer. What happened to you? Start from the beginning. Well, I was a poor bum boy. Start from your abduction. I was walked in my handlebar mustache while walking to work when someone grabbed my leg and pulled me down. Uh, but he was the most unsavory character. Though maybe he'd be horror up shop cheese and some cito. He was a cambaline. I have eaten. You're not making any sense, man. He forced me to do a new type of dough, a super dough, a hybrid, crack cake, cake, cookie, and bread. A hybrid. He bit me, he baked him in the medium oven. Told you. He bit the door when no one is looking. <gasps> Gustavo! Was he a cracker? Yeah, uh, yes. He called himself a crocodile. <gasps> no, not possible. Brash? Mm. What does that mean, Brash? Gustavo, what happened next? How did you escape? <laughs> While it was baking, I broke free of my shackles with a spoon. Then I had to do the most horrible thing. A crawl out of sewer? No. I broke the first rule of baking. I left all the oven. The <laughs> you had to do what you had to do. <laughs> it was a low for death situation. Excuse me. Brush? You okay? I think I know who this crack right now is. Mango, it's time I told you what happened to my old partner at that bakery. His name was Daryl. He was Suits' top agent. I learned so much from him in our time together. Our assignment was supposed to be easy as pie. Daryl was going to retire. It was his last mission, but no one expected it to be his last, last mission. We were cracking down on a crack... We were cracking down on a cracker company that was disposing of nuclear waste by baking it into their saltines. We cracked the case, but there was an incident with a cat. Daryl fell into the radioactive dough and was never seen again. Or so I thought, but. He must have been alive this whole time. I could have saved him. It's all my fault. And now he's an evil salty and out for revenge. Yeah, I'd be salty about being left to die, too. Sorry, Brash. I can only imagine how difficult this must be. Thanks, Miko. But you're a great detective. And Mustachio is safe now. We can do a crocodile later. Something tells me his cat will be up soon. <laughs>